Hi guys, I've got a traveler's notebook challenge for you today using the Around Here Life Crafted kit from Citrus Twist. And that challenge is to create a geometric design in your notebook. Now, because I'm not like super great with geometric designs, you did see at the start there, I did sketch out a little something so that I could work out the measurements for how much I have to trim these papers down. Um, and that gave me my measurement for printing my very tiny little photo there. So um, the photo and each of the squares I'm going to cut down from the scrap papers in my kit that are left over here are going to be one and three quarters of an inch. And like I said, these are just the scrappy little leftover pieces of my kit because I have pretty much demolished this kit this month, um, done so many projects. So I've got these little bits and pieces left over um, and a few of the 6x8 papers. So the squares that I'm trimming out, I'm trying to sort of keep to a loose colour scheme of the sort of greeny, tealy blues. There's a little bit of that peachy, orangey colour sneaking in there. Um, plus just a little bit of neutral. I, there are a couple of cards in there that I don't end up using. One I trimmed down from uh, one of the 3x4 cards which has a yellow stripe um, and it just kind of sticks out like a sore thumb so we don't end up using it. I keep it more to this sort of muted colour scheme which I guess is a little bit of a challenge to myself as well. This is definitely not the kind of colour scheme I would normally go for. Now I just am deciding about uh, that there's a second journal card that I trimmed down in there and that does have that tiny little piece of yellow. I decide to leave it for now um, and just see how it's going to work in with the rest of my design. I've laid out all my squares and then some of them I'm going to trim diagonally in half. I'm just using my scissors for that uh, to create the actual heart shape that I'm going for. So that's why I did need a sketch because I needed to work out um, how many squares was actually going to fit on my Traveler's Notebook spread like this. Now to give these squares a little bit of extra texture, I did run each and every one of them through my sewing machine, um, laid them all out again on my notebook, and then I decided, ah, if we're going for a challenge, let's really challenge, uh, and I'm going to add some mixed media. I don't often add mixed media into my notebook, so I'm going to give this a go and see how it goes. The first thing I'm doing is just applying a coat of clear gesso to the page, which is going to help. Uh, I probably should have put uh, two coats on, I will say that. It's going to help the liquid sprays that I'm putting on now not absorb straight through the paper onto the pages underneath. Um, I did have a little bit of uh, sort of seepage through, but nothing terrible. I had a few different coloured ink spray mists that I never, never use. That's how much I don't use them as the spray nibs no longer work anymore. So that last one, I actually had to kind of tip it onto the page, which applied way too much colour. Now I'm just sort of muting those down with some extra water and sort of smushing it about with my brush. Like I said, I'm definitely no expert in mixed media, that's for sure, but I didn't hate the way this turned out. Um, I added a few extra splatters and then let the whole thing dry. It added a tiny bit of warping to my notebook, but definitely um, definitely not that much, so the gesso really does help. I like that clear gesso because it doesn't add a sort of creamy colour to the page, but normal gesso would work just as well. So now I've laid all my hearts, um, heart pieces back out onto the page to make sure they're in the right order. Um, and they just kind of didn't stand out off the page enough for me. So I went and grabbed some, I think the colour's Evergreen Bow Distress Ink and a little ink blending tool. And I'm just going to go around the edges of each of these pieces. I didn't want to use like a black or anything like that. I decided to stick with the green theme and just go around each edge in a little bit green and you can see how much it lifts it off the page. You can definitely see the outline of the geometric shape now. For my title, I guess, I guess it's a title, I'm going to use the foam words from the kit and just add today. It fit nicely in the gap there underneath my photo uh, and then I can go about just finishing this page super simply by using the die cut pack from the kit gonna start by just going through and picking out anything um, that's in those same color tones the sort of greens teals a uh, little bit of black and white and some of that same orangey peachy color 
And there are a couple of leaves and I'm going to use those as the building block, I guess, for creating three clusters of embellishments. So I'm going to create my main cluster down here by the title and then a couple of smaller ones over on the left hand side of the page. So one towards the bottom left and one a little bit towards the, um, the right hand side of that left page. I'm swapping a couple of those leaves because I feel like the darker one should be down on the um, title just to make sure that that has the main focus of the page. Now I did forget to say that because the page has gesso and mixed media on it, I didn't use tape runner to glue all these little squares down. I did use uh, multi-matte medium. I wanted a liquid adhesive to make sure that everything stayed really stuck down to this page, especially with the little bit of warping that's in it. And the wet, uh, wet glue is definitely going to make sure that everything stays in place. So you can see the building blocks of my clusters starting here and I'm just literally just going around the page in sets of three, the set of three uh, clusters just building up with the ones that I have already picked out. Some of these I trim down, some of them I don't end up using at all uh, and I am sticking some underneath the little squares of paper. I really only glued them in the middle. I did leave the sort of outer edges free of glue so that I could stuck, um, tuck stuff underneath it. Um, and some of them I'm just sticking over top, overlapping a couple of the squares to kind of break down the grittiness of it a little bit. Now I added a couple of foam, um, those foam stickers, I guess that's what they're called, uh, the printed ones. Uh, this is the last spread in this notebook so I'm not super concerned about how bulky I'm making it. I normally would shy away from anything um, as fat as foam in here but because this is the last page in the notebook to fill in, uh, I can really go crazy with however big I want to make it. One of those die cuts on the right there said afternoon routine and this was, um, I think actually, sorry, I think it said morning routine, which it wasn't. So I just cut off the morning part and stuck down routine and then I added the little alpha stickers from the kit so it said not so routine because this is definitely not our routine. Sitting on the couch for the day watching movies is not something that happens a lot around here but we had a very chilly, very relaxed day off work where we did spend the whole day doing nothing but chilling on the couch. The last thing I want to add to this page is a bit of stamping from the stamp set since the stamp set worked so perfectly with the vibe of the page and the actual um, subject matter. So I'm using a green ink rather than black. I don't want anything to stand out too much and I'm just repeat stamping those around those same three clusters. But I have added a couple of extra stamps just onto the gridded parts, um, the gridded sort of pages as well because the ink is black it doesn't stand out so it just adds a little bit of fun and texture. My last step is to add a few of these little epoxy stickers. I'm just sticking with the yellow and green dots and again I'm just only adding those around those three clusters just to help fill in the page a little bit more and a couple down here in this blank corner just to fill it up a little bit and add a bit of balance and that is this page all done. This page is so different to what I would normally create and that's the beauty of these challenges is to push you out of your comfort zone just a little bit. So if you want any more details on this challenge, head over to the blog, I'll leave the link in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, don't forget to check out my Patreon page because there are even more videos over there. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.